Hey guys, hope you all are good. Welcome to another interesting video on our Be Aware channel. So let's begin. Hello all, hope you all are good and welcome to another interesting video on understanding process flow activities. So we have completed decide and batch from the basics in our previous videos do watch it it is available on our youtube channel and in this video we are going to understand wait for event and create token activities from the basic process flow so without any time delay let's drag this wait for event in the process flow so when you click on this wait for event you could look at we are having a property windows here so i'll just bring one of the object into the game because this activity is basically triggered by object so it is object driven activity from the process flow so if you look at this we have this dropper here i'll click on this on this queue and i'll set that whenever a part is going to enter so i need it on entry so that you could see the uh, properties here so if you look at the properties of the wait for event begin once you assign a object to it so this is the wait for event here so if you look at initially it's all empty you need to drag it you need to then drag it to the object and then you need to click it once you click it you have all these options so you can do it on entry on exit on message on the resume there are a lot many options here so we have currently uh, made it on entry that is whenever a part is going to enter you can change it also from the drop down list here you can come here and change it as per your requirement but we will keep it as on entry then if you look at we have label matching slash assignments here here what we need to do is entering item what would be the label name we need to put so i'm putting item what should be the operation so i need to have a, i need to assign the token this label so i'm putting operation as assign once it is done what is going to happen whenever a part is going to come in this queue on entry we are going to have one token so basically uh, we are going to wait for the event so until and unless the part is going to enter the queue the token is not going to leave this activity and this source is what it is just the same here also if you click on entry here also you are having enter in item operations to be assigned but this activity is a source activity this means this will create a token this will not create a token this will basically halt all the tokens at this activity and release only when this event is triggered that whenever a part is going to enter the queue the source the tokens are waiting at this uh, activity will be released down or else they are going to wait there only till the activity is getting executed i'll show you with the help of one of the example but we'll just understand what are the uh, properties for this currently so i have assigned item to the token then we have will overwrite written value here we also had it in the source then we have on listeners initializers this is for uh, the token once all listeners have been created we can use this but we are not using this so the default what we use it we select object we select the event we assign the labels and then it's all done we also have a checkbox here basically when you check this what is going to happen is if i say five seconds even if the tokens are waiting for five seconds and the event is not getting triggered the token will be released ahead but if you make it unchecked the tokens will wait there until your event is not going to get triggered so if you want that see check it maximum for five seconds if the event triggered it's okay if it is not triggering move ahead so there where you are going to check this so this is all about wait for event so what we are going to do is we are going to connect this queue to the sink and we are going to delete this source and we are going to have inter arrival source here and what i am going to do is that every token should come every two seconds just wanted to show you how the tokens wait and then they are going to go to the sink nothing else we are going to do we are just going to tell them to wait for event and a source what i'm going to do is i'm going to create part every 10 seconds so that you can understand and you can check how what the thing happening so i'll just run and you can look at 
see the tokens are getting piled up okay and once that is done it just gets leaved off i'll just click on this and just click on this so if you look at we are creating almost every 2 second apart we are getting every 10 second apart so you can see five tokens here because five twos are 10 that's the reason five tokens wait here and once we have a part after 10 second these all five goes into sync so this is how the wait for event works this is all about wait for event i'll just bring another uh, create tokens activity into the play and we'll understand this so if you click on the create tokens it's just like creating an objects we have this here create objects but it is related to tokens that is related to item so if you look at this you can take from here so whenever a wait for event is arrived create a tokens you can do lot many stuff so that then we again have a destination so we have a destination here where this token should go or else we have the properties here next activity and it's all done so you can see that the tokens will be created and been transferred to the next activity so we are having lot many activities to be done here activity named activity by case so here is the number of the quantities we need to create okay then we have assign to then we have assign front of so we have a parent label you can do it conditional label there are a lot of stuffs here currently i'll just delete this and we'll have nothing so i'll again drag this create tokens here and I'll, I'll check and i'll make this as, as next activity and if you look at this uh, again we have this assign to so where you need to assign and then we have create as independent token we need to child tokens or we need to create a sibling tokens so i'll just show so you let us now create a scenario for create tokens uh, i have created a source where i have connected to the queue on entry we will be having a token generated and i have uh, entered the item as the token name and we have assigned it if you look at the create tokens what we are going to do is we are going to plug in and check what the activities really show i have made a delay of 20 seconds so that you can see the token waiting here at this area so what i'm doing currently i'm creating a one quantity and the destination is the next activity what we are going to do is we are going to assign it to the token dot item so whichever token is going to come from up that we are going to assign whatever the properties are going to be so currently we'll make it as create as a independent tokens that means that each token will be independent so i'm generating one token from the top and i will be getting two tokens at the bottom if you look at one is my basically the original token and another is basically the independent token created so if you look at i don't have a label here but I have a label here of item which is mentioning as ID2 because it is assigned to item and this is what is the uh, original token and this is what is the created token. If you look at and they create as in the child, so if I make it as child tokens and if I reset and run and I'll stop it, if you look at it, this is what is the parent item. So if you look at it, I am having P noted here before the item label. And this is what the details are and if you click at it you could look at this is uh, basically in the child and this is the children so this is the child token this is your parent token and this is your child token you can use it basically depending on your requirement and then we have sibling tokens so so the basically the name itself implies what is child what is sibling and what is independent so depending on your requirement you can use these types of tokens to getting created as we have another checkbox here that is label access on parent only so basically you can access the labels of the parent for the children's okay so basically it's a children token then you have so currently we are only able to read the parent label so that is what the, what the access is given and we can make it none or we can read and write the parent labels from the tokens created that might be as independent children or it might be as a sibling so this is the parent label access so basically whether you are able to change the labels of the parent token then we have another checkbox here that is basically copy the labels to the tokens on create so this is when you require the labels from your previous uh, tokens you can check this up you can also assign the new labels independent labels to independent tokens been created here 
by putting the name here and putting putting the value here so this is all about create token tokens how we create tokens these are all about the properties which we are going to use while we are working on create tokens using basics and process flow so in today's video we have covered the wait for event activity and create tokens activity in the next video we will be looking into for milestone sync and then we will be closing this basics of process flow if you like this video do share it with your friends do comment if you have any queries and require any support we are always there you to support do share this definitely subscribe to your channel if you are new to our channel stay healthy stay safe always learn stay simulating we'll meet with another interesting video till then bye bye